Let's turn this into this. If we were running cool, and I think we wouldn't have as many birds' nests, in Fusion 360, you can also peck um, groove, which would have helped as well. I was so excited to film this week's Wednesday widget showing the fourth axis machining with Fusion 360 and we crashed the machine. I think it's just a post processor thing so let's do this. Let's take a look at how we cut this part on the lathe. I think it turned out great and then hopefully next week we'll figure out the post processor stuff. We've got the lathe cam done up here but let's just create it over from scratch and walk through it. So setup, new setup, we'll switch it to turning and then under stock I'm using a 1.125 inch piece of material and I uh, see how right now it says model position centered I don't like that I want to offset it from the front but we'll leave say 10 thou that will come in right there and clean it up with a facing up so that's good so this is my I'll move it up here we'll call it video lathe turning Face. For us, it's tool seven. It's a uh, standard. It's the Tormach turning tool, polish insert. Looks beautiful. Click uh, adjust your fees and speeds. So we actually let's look at what we had. Um, Fifteen hundred and four thou per rev. We'll make the uh, file available for any our Patreon folks that want to download this feed per rev of four. Done. Turning or facing is real easy, but turning profile. 
Um, same tool, tool seven. So let's just click OK. And you'll see what we get is it's trying to profile in how it can, which is actually a really cool feature, but I don't want to do that. I just want it to profile the outside. So we'll go back to edit. And under the first option here, see this allow grooving, turn that off, click OK, much better. However, you wouldn't really notice it, but it's actually going to come down here. If we run a simulation, it's actually going to come down on the second pass all the way to the front of the part, which I don't want it to do. See that? So we'll fix that by going into the second tab here and choosing rest machine. That'll fix that little code. Now you can see the lead in there. I'm a big fan of to change one thing at a time, especially when you're experimenting. One last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do a confinement and I'm going to do a backside offset of point, you know, 08. Just going to run that parting tool a little bit further, profiling tool a little bit further back uh, right there. Turning groove, change it to tool five, which is our, it's like a 150 or something, or 16 Shars parting tool. And let's just click OK. You should see, we get actually sort of an OK toolpath, except it's going a lot of places we don't want. So I'll edit, confinement, I'll pick that center area, which is what I want to focus on. And that looks OK, except um, let's increase the step over here to like 0.12 because we don't need so many step overs. Now here's what's confusing. Watch this. When we simulate it, it looks like you're leaving a bunch of material on the side here, and you are, but that pass right now is this vertical orange line. The blue cleanup pass is what comes around um, in the end right here. And we actually have way too much left, so let's go fix that here. So passes, we'll reduce the step over here to like 5 thou. Finish feed rate is fine. If you want to compare it, one of the nice things, we can click on the original groove that I really liked by holding down the control key. So I've got the two selected. Right click, compare and edit, and you can actually see the differences here and even just change them, which is super cool. The last thing I've got to figure out that I actually admit I don't know is, if so, I'd love if somebody could help me, is see the little gap here? Well, why isn't it cutting profiling all the way down? And what's interesting is if I reduce the step over to, say, from 5 thou to 1 tenth, it seems to take it away, but that doesn't make any sense to me. Why isn't it? Um, that's not what a step over is. It's, like, it's almost like this is a radial stock to leave. Um, so I'll, I'll let you know what I figure out on that. Last but not least, the grooves here. Turning groove. I'm going to switch it to the little uh, grooving tool that we got from Shards. It's like 31 thou. Uh, geometry confinement. Pick here. And under passes. So the maximum grooving step over has got to be smaller than the tool thickness. So just 20 thou. Uh, the tool's 31 thou. And I don't have a good explanation for this, but we're going to turn off the roughing clearing pass and turn off the finishing passes. So it's really just going to go in and out, I think, or maybe twice. Um, but that gets us if we simulate it nice and slow here. Yeah, see, there you can see it goes in and out twice because I think it's got a... Um, I haven't played with the single um, grooving feature, which I should because that would work here as well. But you can see right about there it's going all the way in so that's the uh that's the can for that part folks i really hope we're back next week showing this on the fourth axis actually working again i think it's just a post-processor issue uh, this fusion friday will sh walk through creating the part and actually some of the fourth axis cam stuff which should which should be good to go so with that folks take care appreciate the thumbs up subscribing liking the video and commenting see you next wednesday